Hello, my name is Noah Hankenius. I am a senior environmental studies student at Massachusetts College of Liberal Arts. Throughout the years, my advisor, Daniel Schustak, has been banning veeries in the historic valley forests of North Adams, Massachusetts. He noticed that many veeries would have ticks as early in the season as May. Veery are a long distant migrant making a journey to the Northeast United States from Brazil during spring migration. This made us curious if these migrants could potentially be carrying and possibly introducing exotic tick species. In addition to this, we were also curious how prevalent ticks were on birds throughout the breeding season. We hypothesized that if exotic tick species were present on birds, they would only occur early during the migration season when birds first arrived from South America and the Southern United States. We assessed these questions by removing ticks from birds using steel forceps and preserving them in ethanol. Ticks will typically attach near the bird's eye, such as the tick in the photo, or underneath the beak. We checked elsewhere on birds for ticks, but did not find them anywhere else on birds. Once in a lab, we identified the ticks using dichotomous keys that were specific to the stage of the tick. In our study, we most commonly found ticks on oven birds and veeries, which are ground foraging species. This may be biased, however, because veery were a target species for a concurrent study, and oven birds are a very common breeder in the area. By far, the large majority of ticks we found on birds were Exodes scapularis, also known as the common deer tick. However, we have a couple of other plausible identifications for other species in small abundance. All tick species encountered were known native species to Massachusetts and New England. What we also found is that immature stages of ticks are regular ectoparasites on birds throughout the breeding season. So where do I plan to go with this project? Firstly, as you can see in figure three, we have some, but not a lot of sampling in late summer to early fall. I would like to increase this to better understand the dynamics of the bird tick relationship, specifically to better determine if ticks parasitize birds less later in the season, or if the stage that parasitizes birds changes. I would also like to use the ticks in our collection to and determine how long they're attached to birds based on what is known as engorgement measurements. There is not a lot known on this topic and it would be useful when determining birds' ability to potentially transport ticks during migration. Thank you for coming to my presentation. I would like to thank the MCLA Summer Undergraduate Research Program for helping to provide me with a living stipend so that I could work on this project.